The Sword of Doom was directed by Kihachi Okamoto and released on February 25th, 1966. While not immediately being well received by critics, the film was enjoyed amongst audiences for the energy of its direction and the exuberance of its violent swordplay. The main character, Ryunosuke Suku, played by Tatsuya Nakadai, also acts as the antagonist of the film, a wandering ronin with an inherent will to evil. He is cold, sociopathic, and acts as a will to death, or a sword of doom. Toshiro Mifune's character, Shimada Tuornosuke, states this perfectly after cutting down a metric shitload of hired assassins in the snow. The sword is the soul. Study the sword to know the soul. Evil mind, evil sword. We can assume that he is now Ronin because of his attraction to evil. The way Nakadai portrays the character is almost robotic, an unfeeling vessel motivated only by combat and proving his unyielding sword. Ryunosuke uses Ono Itoryu, or single sword style. However, he has a strange approach to the use of this style, where he keeps his sword close to the ground with his posture seemingly, seemingly relaxed, inviting his opponent's attack. This approach shows his cunning. His defense is down so his opponent will attack where he can implement an invincible technique only taught in this style. The single sword attack called Kiri Otoshi. The goal of this is to control your opponent's movement coming forward where one's defense also acts as an attack. The enemy's strike is met with two movements and one beat. This is why the director never shows Ryunosuke's killing blow to Bunojo because the spectators of the match didn't see it. Ryunosuke blocks the attack with the first movement, then kills him with a blow to the head. Ryunosuke's stoicness in life and battle is part of the reason he is so successful. He embodies what Miyamoto Musashi calls the void. In the Book of Five Rings, he explains it as where there's no beginning and no end. The way of strategy is the way of nature. Knowing the rhythm of any situation, you will be able to hit the enemy naturally and strike naturally. This is the way of the void. Ryunosuke embodies the way of the void through his mannerisms and his fighting style, relaxed and in the moment, waiting for when his body knows to strike. This is what makes him so dangerous. So how does one defeat an invincible technique? The Suki, or a forward thrust. With this move, one is susceptible to being hit, but directly pierces the target. The Suki is not taught to low-level kendo because it is thought to be dangerous or even risky in training because one is literally aiming to pierce the body of the opponent. Musashi said the way of the warrior is the resolute acceptance of death. We can assume Hyoma is aware of this sacrifice as Ryunosuke is too dangerous to be kept alive. After being tasked to kill Ryunosuke by Ryunosuke's father, Hyoma begins feverishly training the Suki. But the Sword of Doom does something that most movies don't do. We never see this duel play out. The reason for this is the film was meant to be part of a trilogy, but due to the amount of violence in the film, the sequels were cancelled, so it is possible the producers wanted this tension between the two characters to build up into the sequel film, where they might have this fateful meeting. In a plot to assassinate important political members, Ryunosuke is abruptly ambushed by the ghost of the people he has murdered, then by an actual group of assassins. By the final minutes of the film, Ryunosuke is cutting men down in a maelstrom of violence. His face contorted like a demon in the midst of murder, disheveled hair, covered in lacerations, and bleeding from every which way. He does not stop, and almost seems to be enjoying the violence. The scene becomes a metaphor for his mental state, a slowly unraveling maze, where he is unable to escape the ghosts of his victims and their screams, lost in the madness of violence. This claustrophobically shot nightmare sequence ends with a freeze frame on Ryunosuke with whited pupils in mid-slash. He has come full circle, seemingly lost in his lust for violence, fully becoming an evil sword. Hello everyone, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you guys could like or subscribe or leave a comment, that'd be awesome. I am planning on doing more film analyses, and it would be really awesome if you could leave some kind of support for the channel. Thank you.